Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So before I get into today's video, which is going to be all about my new wardrobe additions for the summer season, I thought I'd just quickly address something that you guys might notice that is a little bit different. I went and got my hair cut and dyed just yesterday at Oscar Oscar in Paddington. I'm still getting used to the different colour. I haven't dyed my hair since I was 15, so that's a good 13 years ago. So it's very, very different for me, but I'd love to know what you guys think about it. But anyway, let's get right into this video. I haven't actually ended up getting too many things. I ordered a few bits and pieces online during the uh, Cyber Monday sales. However, unfortunately, they didn't all work out for me, which is why it's so important to check the returns policies on everything. But I'm going to show you the first item that I picked up, and it is this off-white lattice work blouse. It's got a very Zimmerman edge to it and it is from a brand called Harlan. I picked this up from Anthropology as I was actually purchasing a gift from there and I didn't want to spend so much money on shipping just for one item so I figured I might as well get something else and I've been looking for a top in this particular style for the longest time and I managed to get it. It was on sale plus an extra 30% off so I think I paid maybe 75 Australian and it retailed for 130 US. So I think it's a pretty good deal. It's 100% cotton. This is definitely more for those cooler summer evenings. It's not going to be something that I'm going to be wearing all the time. It's already been about 30 degrees every single day this past week. So definitely going to be reserving this one for those cooler nights. But yeah, I just really, really love the look of this and I love how it has that lattice work at the edges here. It's very much that broderie anglaise kind of vibe and it's just really floaty and feminine and I thought this would look super cute with jeans or with shorts for summer. So you're going to notice a little bit of a theme. There are quite a few different new tops because I just felt like I wanted to get something a bit different. I have a lot of really fun skirts but I feel like the tops I have to pair with it aren't necessarily as fun or as playful. So when I saw this top from Atmos in here on the Iconic, I just kind of knew I had to go for it. This is so on trend at the moment to have that choker detail across the neck and then have a really low V. And usually I wouldn't go for something that is quite this revealing, but I feel like because I'm not super busty, this is actually really flattering and I just love that detail. It's made out of a polyester fabric, which honestly is not my favorite, but I couldn't get past the style of this top and this is definitely gonna be one that I'm gonna be reaching for a lot this summer. I've got a whole bunch of things here from Grana that I'll show you, but first of all, I think I might go into a few accessories and I have these shoes from Truffle. These are the mules and you guys will have seen my pink ones if you watch my shoe haul a month ago or so but when I saw that they had come back in stock in my size in the black I just knew I had to pick them up. These are undoubtedly one of the most comfortable pairs of shoes that I own. I'm really enjoying having the back of my heel exposed for summer and these are just a really easy slip on shoe and they work well for the office as well and they are great for walking long distances. These are probably going to hold up a lot better than the pink ones as I have noticed that they have gotten a little bit dark around the edges just from the dirt on the ground. But very very pleased with these and I got them via ASOS. I don't know if they've got them anymore but I'll see if I can link something a little bit similar down below. Also from ASOS I picked up a new pair of sunglasses. I actually sat on my last pair I think or I crushed them in my bag something like that so I figured I'd grab a new pair and these are from Pieces. They come in this little neoprene bag and this is what they look like. I'll show you guys what they look like on actually. Just like that. They're really, really simple go-to sunglasses that are made out of just a plastic. They're very lightweight, but they do have UV protection, which I think is great. I wanted to get a pair from Fendi, but they're around the $500 mark, and I haven't spent that much money on a pair of sunglasses in a really long time, which is why I'm hesitating. So I thought I'd get a slightly similar pair just so I can get the look before I go and invest in the full-priced item. Alright, so from Grana, you guys may have noticed that I have worked with them on a video. I did a cashmere video with Grana recently. I'll link it up here so you can have a watch. But they very kindly sent me some of their pieces from their new range. They've got a whole bunch of different colours for Christmas, which are super stunning. So they sent me across a couple of their camis and also one of their cami slip dresses, which are all gorgeous. And the first one I've got to show you is this really beautiful garnet ruby hued silk cami in the v-neck style. I really like this cut of cami. I've got the 
ivory one which is probably one of my favorites at the moment and I just really love this color it is super festive and you gotta wait till you see the next one um, I also have it in an emerald green I don't know which one is more festive side by side I love these though I think they're really beautiful the silk is not that wash suede feeling silk it's more of that satiny silk it's very heavy and durable and it is double lined as well so you don't have to worry about anything peeking through I got both of these in the small but truthfully I'm probably actually more of an extra small I'm between a size 6 and 8 Australian sizing so yeah but I think these are really great anyway and I like the oversized look of them. And then the slip dress that I got was in the navy and this is a little bit thinner. It's just got double lining along the top and then the rest is just one, one layer of silk. But it has these slits on the side which are super sexy and Luke really liked this when I popped this on. I actually got this in an extra extra small. I'm surprised because it actually fits me. Uh, it's a little bit more fitted around the bust area and just sits a little bit higher up. But I just think this is really beautiful and one of those really easy dresses that you can throw on and wear either for work or also to Christmas parties and that sort of thing. And you don't really have to worry too much, just have to throw on a nice pair of shoes. So I just thought this was a really nice new addition to my wardrobe. And then I've just got two more accessories to share and these are from a collaboration that I was doing with eBay. So I have a straw bag from Sportscraft. And I have been dying to get straw bag for a long time. Jasmine Dowling, who is a blogger slash Instagrammer slash graphic designer, or primarily graphic designer, she has been posting so many straw bags on her Instagram feed and I'm just going nuts for them. So when I saw this and in the black, I just thought it was a really chic option for summer. It's really quite roomy, as you can see. It's got a zip-up pocket and on the other side it's got some pockets in there to just pop in your cell phone. So I'm ultra pleased with this and can't wait to use this to go to the beach. And then the last piece that I have to share with you guys is a hat. And this is also from Sportscraft. And I just think that this is so fun for summer. I have one from ASOS, but it's just a little bit too small for my head. And this one here, I love the fact that you can actually tighten on the inside how tight you want it to be. So it works for many different head sizes. So yeah, I just think that in Australia, you really need to be sun smart because you can get sunburned so easily. I was recently out in the sun and I thought I'd put enough sunscreen on, but after I think it was five hours, I got sunburned and definitely not something that I want to happen very often. So yeah, I think being sun smart is obviously the, the best thing to do. Um, I also have a top coming, which if it arrives before I put this video up, I will insert a little cutaway but it is a top I picked up off eBay it's a secondhand Karen Walker top it's basically a navy shell top with white polka dots and it has a frill collar around the neckline it's from I think god seven years ago from a season about seven years ago it's one of my favorites it's called the village loved it I really wish I had everything from that collection because it was just so cute very nautical themed and when I saw this on eBay for a price that I really just couldn't go past I knew I had to pick it up so that's one of the other things that I have gotten there are a couple of other things that I would really love to purchase for the upcoming summer season I'd really like to grab a pair of one teaspoon denim shorts I've been wanting a pair of these for the longest time and I just haven't gotten around to going in store and picking the pair up and just trying them on because they have so many different styles and I don't really know which ones would be the best for my body shape. And then I'd also really love to get a blue wash denim skirt. I've been looking for one for a really long time but the style and urban outfit is always seems to be sold out in my size so I'm hoping they'll come back in stock soon so I can grab one of those as I just feel like denim mini skirts are kind of the ultimate summer piece at the moment. Anyway, those are all my current new wardrobe additions. Obviously, if you want to see anything else that I end up grabbing, maybe during the summer sales or that sort of thing, then do check out my blog as I tend to post new outfit photos on there twice a week. Or at least I try to post at least twice a week. So that will be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you next time with a brand new one. Bye.